In this screencast we're going to look at the relatively new Morph Images page. We'll look at the images, the image dimensions, adjusting the zoom region and speed, and a few examples of how you might use this page. This is Quick and Dirty Zerty. We're going to use the same learning object that we created in previous episodes of this series. So even though we're now not going to go through the page types in a, a linear fashion, we'll use and continue to use the same learning object. So we select Image, Media and Morph Images. Page title as always, going to copy and paste that in. and the text for the images. We're going to copy and paste that in. We'll explain this um, a bit further shortly. So I'm going to browse for my first image. And when that's uploaded I'm going to browse for my second image. Okay, as we've discussed previously, it can save quite a lot of time to move the page we're working on to the top of the tree. So it's the first page we see when we click play. And I'm going to click play now to see how this works. So what we can see now is we've got a landscape image on the screen. Um, description here describes the fact that Nottingham team call this Morphin Zoom and was built for um, medical education where you want to show um, a cross section through the skin and then perhaps zoom into a higher resolution close up of say the, the cells of one of the layers. I'm sure you can think of other examples how this could be used. This particular image um, we've got a hyperlink here that I um, just did a search and found an, an image that I could use for demonstration purposes on um, commons.wikimedia and there's a there's a link here to to that site okay so the way this works is we see the in this case the wider image and click zoom and zoom into um, the close-up image now I can tell from that that okay that was fine but I think we can improve it so I'm going to close the window what we haven't done so far is change the zoom region so if I expand the tree here just so that again so expand the tree select the zoom region and we see an edits button and what will happen is that we um, see a preview of our image and this um, zoom region in effect that we can select and resize if we need to so kind to think this might work if it's around about this position because it's this area here that's the the kind of zoomed in image um, and it doesn't usually work if you've got the the hotspot directly over the zoomed in image because of the way it works so let's try it around about that position we click play again now and click zoom okay it's still not right so we'll try this about here and this is where we see the value of moving the page to the top okay quite happy with that but I think what we're going to do in this example if we switch back to the main icon in the tree of the, the morph images page going to increase the zoom speed or in fact um, decrease the zoom speed so the higher the number the longer it will take and the smoother the zoom will be so let's try that and it almost provides a, a watery effect which is quite appropriate for this image obviously quite happy with that that works um, quite well 
Just as another example here, that example was using a landscape image. What we're going to do is add another morph images and this time use a couple of portrait images just to demonstrate the different layout options that the different way it works. So going to paste some text and browse to our assets folder again. In this case I've named some images image one and image two which normally you would give them more appropriate names but just for the sake of demonstration purposes Okay, I'm going to move this up to the top of the tree and click play. Okay, so we here we have a portrait image. You can see some text that basically this is a screenshot of one of the screens on my iPhone and a bit of text describing the fact that I keep the apps for taking photographs ungrouped and the other apps for specific purposes are grouped by function. So if we click the zoom button we should see the imaging category. Now we can see here that that's definitely not the right position for the hotspot. So close the window, expand the tree, select the edit region and in this case it's probably going to be about there because it's the imaging icon that we're kind of gradually zooming into. Press play and press zoom. And that's probably as about as good as we're going to get with this portrait shaped image and the area that we want to zoom into. So I'm sure you can think of other examples where this could be used, for instance, health and safety pictures or zooming into areas of a map. And the key point here is that this is a predefined zoom rather than using something like the image browser page type where it's up to the user to, to zoom in to particular reasons. And obviously there's times when that page type might be more useful than this and vice versa. In this screencast we looked at the relatively new Morph Images page. Images can be JPEG files, .gif, .png or even Swift files. The image dimensions don't really need to be more than 600 pixels wide or 500 pixels high in the case of a tall image. And the reason for this is that we're not actually zooming into the image, we're supplying the second image as a zoomed area. The zoom area we explored the fact that you need to test and then reposition the zoom hotspot and adjusting the zoom speed a higher number equals a slower zoom. We looked at a few examples including medical images, maps etc. But the main point here, this is a predefined zoom as opposed to the image viewer page where it's up to the user to zoom into different areas of the image. I'm Ron Mitchell and this has been Quick and Dirty Zerty.